So it is 6.03 a.m. July 4th, 2021. Happy Independence Day for those that celebrate it. Um, we're going to get rocking and rolling here in a minute. Okay. That's good stuff. So since last time I went ahead and I uh, won the whole race thing and did some of the... did that mini game thing. Both really annoying. But yeah, you gotta win the race three times. And you get some stuff for it. You get a title for Chester. You get Fired Up Mock Bastard. What crazy speed, the Fired Up Mock Bastard. Yeah, the name that Passion earned you. Huh. You also get a... Uh, you can get a tapestry, a textile product created with a design that can even rival paintings in the level of detail. Which you can just sell somewhere. You get a wall break, which looks like a little hand drill. A decorative item that has a chance to nullify Earth-based attacks 50% of the time, for some reason. You get a special flag, which is a collectible. A very special flag. Feel the passion of the Crimson S. And a flare spread bow. A magical bow that possesses the power of fire. Very effective against water elemental enemies. Not as good as what we've got, but... It's still good if you didn't get that. And of course, the fourth item that you can get ends up being a long bow, which is a weak bow from the beginning of the game that I wouldn't recommend getting. But, yeah, we got the album bow, which is better than Flare Spread, so... Also, from that, uh, memory game, you can get some stuff I got, uh... I think I ended up getting, uh, another pair of Pretty Mittens or something. Not really a big deal, like, whatever. Yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue the side quest to recruit, um... The secret character, but but to do that you have to fight in the arena, so we're gonna do that. Um, I'd recommend not having Doom Blade because it's Dark Elemental and one of the enemies may absorb it. So we're gonna put on the Miramasa. Plus it has better accuracy, and you probably want to have a uh, one of the Ogies that has Thunderclaw on it. Or you could just put on Thunderclaw if you want. So we want to head to y Euclid. So yeah, I think you have to beat all the battles, which we tried it earlier and we actually got to the last battle, the, the Basilisk King, but... We, we, we couldn't pull it off, so... So now we're higher level, got better equipment, so we should hopefully be able to do it. You may want to put protection from paralysis, or you could just use a liquor bottle. Either way. Either way. Eh, 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 eh. But yeah, this is required to recruit the, uh, the secret character. We don't need to have it on hard for any achievements or anything. I wouldn't recommend doing so either, regardless. Huh. Yes, I would. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Of course, if we can't pull it off here, then we can always wait till later. Not a big deal. mainly not really that hard until you fight the, uh, the Clay Golem dude, and the King Basilisk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you should probably be at, le at least level 40 for this fight. We're beyond that, so we should hopefully be okay. But who knows? Of course, the first fights are just sad. Skeleton... Huh. 
Yeah, I think there was one enemy that could paralyze you. I don't remember which one that was, but... But the biggest challenge is getting through the, uh, the clay golem fight since it resists physical attacks. And it does a lot of damage, so... What items do we even have for this? Okay, we, we, we have plenty of liquor bottles. Hey, watch it, sir. There you go. Spamming the jump attack is definitely a good way to get things going, although it doesn't really help too much if if they resist physical attacks, like the golem dude. That's the main problem there. Because I think, at this point, it, if you win all the battles, then you trigger a boss fight. Which I think is actually much easier than the, than the last battles in the arena. Yeah, I think that enemy can actually paralyze you. That's why you don't even want to let it hit you. Da -na 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 -na. And there's eight battles here? Something like that. Yeah. But again, none of the battles are really that difficult or anything until you get to the golem. Forbar can be because he can go all over the place, but nothing too crazy. You just want to stop him from moving all around. So that can be problematic. Pork! Pretty garbage experience. <laughs> He's fighting, fighting in the arena in both Star Ocean, First Departure, and this game. Imagine that. Chevalier. You're nothing. I'm not let my guard down. Label. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Wasting time. It's a tree. Who let the tree into the arena? Just sad. Sad to even look at. I'm not sure if the item drops actually go into your, like, arena inventory or your actual inventory. Not sure about that. I know they don't in in Star Ocean Burst Departure. Not sure about here, but here we go with this crap. Hey, you probably want to do Claw Storm for this A-Hole. He is an annoying bastard. He just does so much damage.
focus would probably be a good idea to do. Beat him much quicker that time. You know, with higher stats and some marble. We can play marbles. Okay, so yeah, so for this fight, you definitely want to use a liquor bottle. And then you can use e either a uh, focus or a flare bottle to counter the uh, strength drop. You just want to use it so you don't get petrified. Though, though if memory serves, I think he also does a lot of damage as well, so... Oh shit! That was bad. You don't want that to happen. I'm... You don't want to end up jumping over him. That would not be good at all. So if you're too close to him, you don't want to do Colonel Storm, because you'll probably just end up jumping over him, and that would not be cool at all. Ooh, just barely missed that. But we got liquor bottle on, so it wouldn't matter, but it'd probably do a lot of damage. There we go. And we got it. And this should trigger a boss fight, I do believe. Flawless victory! <laughs> done it. Finally, eight consecutive victories. Congratulations, class. Although you finally reached the top, there is one final challenge that awaits you. One last and extremely powerful monster. Uh-oh. We've been waiting for you, class. Wh who's there? They're ninjas. By order of our master. So you you don't actually have to win this fight, but I think there's an achievement for it, and there's a... You get some item drops. We will now take your life. What? Wait, if you're the ninja that has been appearing around Euclid, then you must be Suzu's parents. Okio, have you prepared yourself? H hold on. You're being manipulated. Th that's exactly right. You must stop. No, you must kill us. Wh what was that just now? Dozo. Enough talk. Have at you. And such. So this is kind of like... The, the fight with, like, Hanzo. Unfortunately, you don't get your items, which is stupid, but... That's how it goes, man. You don't want to get in between them.
Yeah, so this can actually be a very tough fight. And I'm poisoned, which is bullshit. If you can keep them combo locked like that, you may have a chance. It's kind of cheap, but that's about the only way you're going to survive, honestly, <laughs> Be because they're both just going to keep cheap-shotting you, and not a whole lot you can really do about that. Especially, especially since at this point you're, you're probably out of healing items. Hopefully that can take him down before I run out of TP. Got him! Inspect and defeat Dozo and Okio. I did not think I had a chance there. 50,000 experience, 10,000 gold, and Shamazen and Yukio E. Woo! Kind of the cheap way to do it, but uh, didn't have much of a choice there. D did that do it? Nah. What? How naive. We ninja masters are invincible. You cannot hope to defeat us. Damn, what can I do? Please stop right there. Suzu. Suzu. Father, mother, please stop these senseless murders. Suzu. Y you must kill us. S silence. Was my brainwashing incomplete? Father, I... I... I cannot... Ugh. They're breaking my control. G G. <laughs> okay. The hell? Father, mother. No, no way. How could this happen? Oop. Defeated. Father, mother. Why? Why did this have to happen? Oh. Well, it's all right. The crimes committed by our hands must be paid by... F the crimes committed by our hands must be paid for by our hands. At least Suzu did not have to stain her hands with this. Bum, bum, bum. We have never been in, in the least like real parents should be. Forgive us. But in the end, you would still cry for us. Seeing that, I have no regrets. For us, this is it. A heart must be hidden. We must be going. Hell awaits. That's a shame. Well, at least they're not being controlled anymore. They can rest in peace. Father. Mother. I shall never cry again. These tears shall be my last. I will become a proud ninja. Suzu, I don't know what to say. I've done something that I, can, that I can never hope to make right. Class, there is no need for you to apologize for this. 
It was thanks only to you that my parents' hearts were set free. But I couldn't do anything to save them. This too is the law of the ninja. Ninja. Ninja must be heartless in order to fulfill their duty. Our objective here is complete. I must return to the village now. If you would like, please come visit the ninja village again. Which of course we have to in order to finish this little side quest. We are truly indebted to you for all you have done. Please accept our deepest gratitude. Now, if you would please excuse me. Well, I wish you'd take me with you. Because unfortunately we gotta walk all the way back there. Well, wait, it seems that something is happening. It seems that the tournament's high commission has come to a decision that this particular challenge will be disqualified. We ask for your understanding in light of this decision. Well, we don't technically win, even though we did, but whatever, doesn't matter. Today had more than its fair share of unexpected events. It couldn't be helped, right? Kles did what he had to do. There wasn't any other choice. Yeah. But because of me, Susu's parents are... Kles, don't blame yourself for what happened. Well then, well then, let's go back to the ninja village. We can at least apologize to Suzu. Unfortunately, we got to go all the way back there on our own, which is really obnoxious. But that's how it goes, man. Can't do nothing about it. You know what I mean? Uh, thankfully, you don't have to do that one on hard, because I can't, can't even imagine what that would be like. Jeez. Brutality. Also, I think we can get a collective card in the Ninja Village as well. So. That's kind of a thing. Da -na -na. Well, we gained a level out of that, at least. That's something. Okay, and go ahead and put the Doom Blade back on. Du -du -du -du. Yeah, we also, uh. What were those two things we got? Okay, we, we actually already had one of those. It's a viable. Well, what was the other thing? I don't remember. I don't remember... Do, 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 do. Yeah, that, uh... Yeah, we got a Shamazen, I think. I don't know where it went, but I think you can sell that. Right? Yeah, Shamazen. A three-stringed musical instrument whose full range of sound can be produced only by experts. I think you can sell that for around 100,000 gold at Olive Village. So, that's something. Not incredibly important, but, you know. If you're low on money, you can always do that. Du -du -du -du. They should be in here somewhere, I believe. We got 58% of the enemies. Isn't that awesome? You know it is. There's Okio. 15,500 HP. 6,000 experience, 5,000 gold. Attack 450. Weekend slight strong and dark. Yeah, see, if we would have had the Doom Blade on, that would not have been good at all. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Da -na 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 -na. Stupid Clego marble. Do we actually get that marble? I'm not even sure. Yeah, his attack is 404. Sheesh. Maybe one one of the highest attacks we've encountered so far. Oh, 
Oh, the Thunder Dragon actually has more, but it's also harder for it for it to hit you. Very easy for the Golem to hit you, but since it resists physical attacks. Silver Dragon has 420, but again, same deal. Squid... Du -du 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 -du. Depraved Monk. Gozo has 500 attack, wow. Same elemental properties. Okay. So we want to head back to the Desert Village. Oh boy. Or Desert Village? What the hell am I talking about? It. I obviously have no idea. The Ninja Village. Desert Village. What the hell? I think I was thinking about Olive Village or whatever.